What is up, Nerf Nation? I am Scraps from Griffin Mods, and today it is my distinct pleasure to be bringing you our in-depth review of the new Alien-style ammo counter from the fine folks at Blaster Parts DE, who were kind enough to send me this product for review, and I'm actually so excited about this product that I decided to don my Spaceball Xenomorph t-shirt, fill my hand grenade with a triple shot of espresso, and pull an all-nighter after a double at work in order to bring you guys this review as quickly as possible. Of course, we'll start out with the box. I believe my product may in fact be a beta because it lacks the full color illustrations and very nice illustrated instruction manual that normally come with their products. On the front of the box here, it says BAAC 2.0, and that stands for Blaster Parts Aliens Ammo Counter 2.0. The first version of this kit was actually a hard install kit um, that didn't have quite the aesthetics to it, and you would have to hard install it in whatever blaster you wanted it to be in. This product is great because it's an external attachment kit that you can swap out and put on whatever blaster you want without having to make any kind of internal modifications whatsoever. Uh, it says the package content includes the counter unit, the barrel extension, a rail adapter for vertical attachment, and a rail adapter for horizontal attachment, and also the adjustment tool. It also says that it requires three AAA batteries. Inside the box, you can see that we have the barrel attachment, which is attached to the counter unit right here. And it also has an additional box which contains the mounting supplies. As far as the unit itself, this is a 3D printed product, but you can tell that the folks at Blaster Parts have gone to great lengths to make it as detailed and rugged as possible. It seems extremely durable. In terms of the barrel extension, you can see that they even have a uh, sight set up on the barrel extension, and I like the fact that a lot of other countries don't have the restrictions on toys that we do, and they'll make things all black, but these guys went to the extent to make the internals, and especially the very tip of this barrel attachment orange, which means it's safe to use and play with here in the States, which is fantastic. The detail on this barrel extension is great, and if you look at the counter itself, it is almost exactly the same as the Aliens ammo counter that they used in Aliens 2 on the turrets, which is essentially what this has been based on. Again, the level of detail in this product is really phenomenal. You can see that it has a spring-loaded uh, retention piece here that helps the barrel attachment lock in place with a universal barrel mount, uh, just like any of the other official Nerf products that you may be mounting on the end of your barrel. It's got this gorgeous hose that houses all the wiring and looks very tactical and keeps everything in place. The way that it operates is it actually has two infrared LEDs that I'm not sure if you can see inside the barrel there but they create a plane and they call it a light barrier and that's actually what reads the darts passing so once the darts break that plane that's what counts the round so you don't actually have anything touching your darts and the barrel extension is wide enough that it shouldn't affect your ranges at all which is fantastic as far as this unit like I said earlier it looks just like the unit from the aliens movie you have the two LEDs here that'll flash when you have darts going through them and you can see there as I'm breaking the plane with my finger how it operates and you have two buttons right here this is actually programmable it comes with three settings and the default settings it comes with are 18 35 and 6 rounds but you can actually uh, adjust and you can save up to three different settings in the memory now it, I didn't have instructions that came with it but if you look at the YouTube videos for their first version of the ammo counter it'll tell you how to operate it and what you do is you can hit the top button here to cycle through the different types that you have preset. And I've already switched mine to 25, 35, and 18. The bottom button is what resets your counter. So after you have a couple of rounds go off, you can actually reset the counter back to whatever you have it set on by hitting the bottom button. And then in order to program it, if you want to set different amounts, you hit both buttons at the same time and the light will flash three times and that'll let you know that you're in programming mode. Once you're in programming mode, the top button operates the 10 space and the bottom button operates the one space and you can set a different amount and then you hold the buttons down again and release them and it'll flash three times to tell you that it's locked in. The first setting that you have is your default setting that'll come on every time you switch it on with this little switch here and the other two settings are your secondary settings. It takes a little bit of time to play around with it and figure out how to set it properly, but once you do, it works really, really well. Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to showing you guys the mounting pieces, and we'll go ahead and get this set up on a blaster and I'll show you how it operates. 
So inside your kit you get this little box that contains two brackets. This one here for the hook is for mounting on a vertical tactical rail and this one is for a horizontal tactical rail. The place where the little screw is is what actually attaches to the side of the round counter. So if you're mounting it on a side rail you'll want to use this one right here and that goes into the side of the round counter and it's nice because you can attach it to either side of the round counter and then this piece right here with the hook on it is for vertical mounting and you can mount it on the top tactical rail and it has a nice little hook here to house the cord uh, so you can keep it out of your way. The mounts attach using Phillips head screws to attach the mount to the tactical rail and then you use an allen wrench to attach the round counter to the mount. Now these won't slide on like a typical tactical rail accessory does because you have to use the Phillips head screws to loosen it before you can attach it and it has this little ridge right here to lock it in place. But the benefit to that is you don't have a wobbly attachment that you risk falling off. Once you put it on there it'll be on until you decide to remove the attachment with the allen wrench and they were kind enough to actually include the right size allen wrench with the kit itself. I've decided that I want to side mount this attachment to my rapid strike so I'm going to use the side mount here and the allen wrench and go ahead and show you guys how it installs. So that really only took about three turns of the allen wrench to get it on there which is great and now I'm going to install it with the Phillips head screws. So here I have the kit installed in my overvolted rapid strike and I cannot stress for you guys enough the level of detail and quality of this kit. It's really fantastic. The pieces seem extremely rugged and durable. The barrel attachment fits very snugly, not where it's difficult to get on, but it has absolutely no wobble to it whatsoever and it's extremely secure. It fits better than any of the stock nerf attachments and the way that the ammo counter attaches with the allen wrench allows you to adjust the viewing angle and I've even discovered that the ammo counter itself has a sleep function to where the uh, number readout will go to sleep if you haven't used it in a little while but as soon as you fire around from it it'll wake right back up let me demonstrate that for you now you can see there it's asleep and bam wakes right back up so like I said this is my overvolted rapid strike so let's see how well the ammo counter keeps up with a high rate of fire and uh, single fire as well. And we're out. So it works extremely well. I am very, very happy with the way this product operates. And you can see that if I wanted to use a 25 or a 35 round drum instead of the 18, I can hit the reset button right here to reset it to 18 or I can hit the selector button up here to switch it over to 25 18 25 and 35 or whatever I want to use so that's fantastic now there are a couple of disadvantages to this kit one is that it comes pre-programmed for 18 6 and 35 rounds and if you want to reprogram it it does take a little bit of fooling around with and getting used to to figure out how to set it properly but once you get it locked in it's set and good to go and you really don't have to mess with it ever again the other drawback and it's a pretty big one is that it comes with a very hefty price tag the price is approximately 100 euros which I believe equates to about 120 or 130 dollars US uh, which is pretty steep especially for something that doesn't actually offer a performance advantage. Oh yeah, and as if this thing wasn't already awesome enough, the barrel extension also adds a muzzle flash every time you fire a dart. My final verdict on the Aliens ammo counter from Blaster Parts, if you're willing to drop the money on it, and you want to feel like a badass colonial marine, you will definitely not be disappointed. This is by far the coolest nerf product I have ever put my hands on, and I am absolutely in love with it. So I think that about wraps it up. This has been Scraps from Griffin Mods. If you guys like the video, please subscribe. And of course, thank you very much for watching.